as you all know, I only listen to heavy metal. And when I do, so do the neighbours. Anyway, we've got this awesome uh, mini in here. It's almost 50 years old. And it's, as you can see, it's been shortened. It's, uh, uh, it's about, well, it's about that big. It's about that big. So we're going to get this cleaned up, show you around it. And yeah, what an awesome little machine. Convertible too. So the first thing we're going to do on this limousine is we're going to do the the wheels as we always do. So we're going to get us pump spray on. We're going to pump it until farts come out of him. Pump it, 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 pump it. Oh, oh, I'm touching cloth. Oh, that's when you know it's just ready to do some work. So we're going to. Blow his load all over it with his pump sprayer. Just like that. Get them all nice and moist. And then we're going to moisten his brush. So we've got some lubrication. And this brush. So that's lubricated too. And we use a Surfex HD. Just, this is brilliant this. This is neat. This car's probably been stood 10 years, but it's been in a house, so that's great. Then we're just gonna get us wheel brush and blast it in there on these little alloys. Which is, um, you know, you don't need a long brush on these because they're only this wide. Let's have a look at how wide are they? 165, 165 milli millimetres. So what's that? Six and a half inch. Could fit my dick in there. Clink backs of it. It'll clink lots off my bell end as well with sharp edges, so that'll be, maybe I'll do that now, you know? Just blow them away with the pressure washer. Woo! I'm using some built hammers auto wheel here. This is mixed one to one. We'll pump it up first. Try to avoid the brake disc because it will cause pitting and things if left over time. Look like a smackhead's face with all the holes in if, uh, if you cover the brake discs in them. I'll just leave that for five minutes or so. I'm going to try and make these videos a little bit more educational as well. So instead of, instead of me just pissing around, but I, you do know me, I do like to piss around, so I can't promise you everything. So I can promise you pissing around, but uh, not so much uh, 
behaving myself. Let's give him another spray. And then we'll leave that for five minutes or so. Give us a helping hand. Right, so now all that's bleeding out, we'll just work it in there with this little brush, try and loosen some stuff up. <laughs> Rinse it off with the old pressure washer. And get soaked while we're doing it. So what I'm going to do now, I've done the wheels, we're in the, we are in the sun and it is coming to the end of the year but I'm just going to spray some water on here just to cool off the vinyl roof. It's Time to foam it up, time to foam it up, don't you know, foam it up and blow your load all over it. Oh, I thought we were doing a limousine, I forgot it's a short one, Vinny. Oh, with that wind, it's like someone's blown the load all over me. So I'm just using one of these little detail brushes and we're gonna whip round this car really quick. We don't have to work very fast because uh, obviously it's tiny, so it doesn't really matter. So we don't want to let it dry on this vinyl roof too much, otherwise we're gonna get some staining. Possible. Possible cum staining with this uh, lovely white load. So this is just awesome. So just go around all these little bits. And we're ready to rinse it off before it dries. So I'm going to use a 40 degree nozzle to rinse off this dirty bastard. So I like the number 40 because it's naughty, just like me. So I'm using Gion's Bathe here. It's not the Bathe Plus, just the Bathe. I'm just gonna put a cap full into his bucket. Cause that's all you need. And we're gonna use the two bucket method on this car. I could probably wash this with just two buckets of water cause it's that small. But we're gonna do it right. He loves this car. He has got some bubbles and pitting on it, but it doesn't matter. We treat them all the same. They pay for a service. That's what they get. So it's gonna 
We're going to form his bucket up now. We'll just wash me in. Oh. Then we're going to give it the two bucket method. I'm using my wash me here, this orange one. This one's made by Shanghai Lil in a sweatshop in China. And uh, yeah, cheers, Shanghai Lil. So we'll start with the roof, as always. Don't want to put too much pressure on it, otherwise, the handle will go through because it is made of vinyl. Let's give it a once over. And you do need to whip down these cars fairly fast so they don't dry, especially when you're doing them in, in the sun. So I'm gonna get on with it. So with it all washed now and looking beautiful, I'm going to rinse it off, take it in the showroom and dry it. So it's using this drying towel here. I'm just gonna dry this off nicely, nice and gently. All your vinyl roof. What an awesome car. It reminds me of Brum. Do you remember, does anybody remember Brum? I don't know about the American audience, but certainly the British. Uh, if we had a little yellow car called Brum. It used to drive itself, it was brilliant. A little uh, kids program. Got to say, this is the fastest car I've ever dried. As you can imagine, being about three feet long, <laughs> super easy. And there we go. We are just about dry. No silly wing mirrors to hold any water. Because uh, obviously these pieces of metal stuck onto the side of the body. There we go, we're dry. How awesome is that? How long is that taking? Two minutes to dry the car. So here I'm using a hard paste wax. This is the Fuso coat by Soft 99. This is the original. 
uh, coating. So we're just going to get his applicator, put it in, give it a turn. And if you just put some lines down your bonnet, like that, that's enough. And th that will do the entire bonnet. So you just work it in circular motions, just a nice fine coating on here. You don't want it too hard, because when you put a lot on, you've got a lot to take off. So I'm just gonna, as you can see, it just picks up the wax over the lines. I'm, I'm using the, uh, the Fuso for the simple reason, the Teflon is far more hydrophobic than something like a ceramic or uh, a car Carnauba paste wax. And these are prone to rotting, so it will uh, help the water disperse over the bodywork to stop it rotting any further. I would have usually just put a spray wax on because it's miles, miles faster to do. But sometimes, you know, as they say, the right tool for the right job. There we go, look at that, that's the bonnet done. And just a little touch. You don't want to go too crazy with paste waxes because they do take some getting off. So I'm going to do the rest of the car and I'll show you how we remove these coatings or sealants or waxes or whatever you want to call them. You know, that's fine. So as you can see, the entire body's coated. Bonnet, sorry, or the hood, if you're from the hood in America. And yeah, we're going to finish the rest of the car. And that's the entire car done in exactly one minute and 37 seconds. So they are really, really quick to put on. Although you do need some time for them to cure and bond into the paintwork. But there's plenty of things you can do up until then. Of course, we still need to clean the tires off and dress these. And the vinyl roof we're gonna protect with some 303 aero space just to give it some protection for a few years to come. It is needing a paint job and things like this, but he's just wanting it nice, really. Get it all protected up, ready for the winter. It obviously is in dry storage, but you know, even something like this does get cold and moisture does get onto the paintwork. So you don't want any ingress of rust, you know, ginger. If you're a ginger person, I'd never call them gingers, I call them the Rusties, as my friend Jess McDermott will know, I call her Rusty all the time. Anyway, we're gonna do the roof and then I'm gonna remove the wax, do the wheels, and on to the next job. Peace out. So what we're going to do, is we're just gonna spray this, I'm gonna turn it on to spray. Oh, she's getting a bit empty. onto the roof, just like this. Don't be shy with it. Then we're gonna use this microfiber and we're just gonna buff this in, just like this. Dead simple. Nice even strokes. All the rounds so you get even coverage. Same as if you're using a polishing machine. DA or Rory, whatever you want to use. Just nice and even. 
Look at that, back to blacker. Protected, looking sexy, just like me. And then we're gonna tire black the tires and we're good to go. So this is G Technics T1 tire and trim. Oh, just gonna put a blob on like that and dab it round, dab it round the tire. We'll just, just like that. This gives an awesome finish this. Dead simple, dead easy. Then when we roll the car back, we will just do this bit here. Beautiful, look at that. And that will dry to a nice satin finish. So we're gonna do the rest of the tires and then we're gonna take the wax off. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a massive, you can see the size of this towel. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna fold it over and we're just going to wipe down like this all over here. And it's coming off lovely. Just like that. See, if you don't put too much on, it comes off real nice. If it's biting, just like it was there, there's a little bit too much on. But it's dead simple. And then you can see it all on there. Just flip the towel to a clean side and buff off the excess residue. And it really is as simple as that. So I'm gonna go do the rest of the car. And then I'm gonna show you the finished product.